the Goyim, the nations of the world are speaking. And they say the last three words, if you have it in Lush and Kodesh in Hebrew, it, the nations say, Mi pesha ami negalamo. What does that mean? For the transgret, Mi pesha, as a result of the iniquities of my people, negalamo, they, the Jews, were stricken. They suffered. What does that mean? It's very simple. When the Nazis persecuted the Jews, when the Germans persecuted the Jews, who suffered? The Jews did. We suffered as a result of the bad behavior of the world's nations. Now, the word lamo means them in Hebrew. If you don't know Hebrew, how do you say him? Singular, lo. Lo is him, lamo is them. So the text says, for the transgression of my people, they were stricken, meaning the Jews. Now, your new international version that you have at home, or King James, or whatever one you use, you know what they do? They can't leave it. You wouldn't believe what I'm going to say. You'll look it up for yourself. They actually change it. It says, for the transgression of my people, they were stricken, and your Christian translations change it to, he was stricken. The King James plays a game and says, to, because of the, our transgressions, the, the, the iniquity went there too, just ambiguous. How do you change the word of God? How do you make them into him? Okay, and this is what I'm talking about here in terms of, wow. in terms of, of uh, Singer not being honest. This is... <laughs> It's kind of amazing what he's done here because now he's saying that the, the Christian translators are the ones who have lied. Um, but clearly he's not being honest with the Hebrew here. In fact, uh, so t talk about Lamo a little bit. Well, so his point is this, is the very last word in Isaiah 53, 8, Lamo. Uh, it, has, it, it can actually mean two things, to him or to them. It's a, it is a, uh, it might be hard to get your mind around how that could be, but that's the fact of the matter. And, and we know this, it's, first of all, it's an archaic usage. Um, the word mo is, functions kind of strangely. It's the same word as in mi kamocha, right? Who is like you? Or you shall love, uh, you know, v'havta recha kamocha. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So this word mo is used. It can take a preposition, lamed, lamo, kamo, uh, etc. Um, but it it is clear. We have places in the scripture where lamo, in my view, is is clearly singular. Yeah. Um, and there are a handful of these, and, and it's, first of all, the word isn't used that much uh, anyway. But um, I thought I had I thought I had pulled those, and I don't see where I have them anymore. Um, well, but Lamo can mean uh, even in Isaiah, wasn't there one in Isaiah? Let me I'll see if I can pull it so, up. So so while you do that, you know, it's funny that he says that the Christian translators have changed this. Um, but now he says that the, uh, that the nations, when the nations sin, it hurts the Jewish people. This is his interpretation, right? And, uh, what's interesting is that I'm sure that he, uh, is, is familiar with the art scroll, right? Um, and art scroll does a lot of very good, uh, they put together some amazing looking books. This from their, uh, their Isaiah commentary. And they have the they have the Hebrew here, they have uh, the, the English, and then they have all of the commentary from from the various rabbis. And so listen how they translated this passage in Isaiah, Isaiah fifty three eight. For he had been cut away. Notice also that before Lamo comes into play, it's all singulars. So what what Singer wants to do is he wants to say that it's all singular, 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 and then right here it's plural. Yeah, them. Yeah. For some reason, he, Isaiah has it all singular up until this one word becomes plural. Um, so this is what the art scroll says. For he had been cut away from the land of the living. My people's sin brought the affliction upon them. So Singer is trying to say that it's the Gentiles who's bringing the affliction onto the Jewish people. The art scroll, however, has trouble with this as well. Because even though they take singers, uh, singers plural on Lamo at the end of the verse, they still don't really know how to, to translate it right. Here, here's some examples of Lamo for back to just uh, let's look at biblical examples. How Go come Singer doesn't take his audience to Genesis 9 
26 and 27. This is the, uh, if you remember the story of Noah, this is after Noah's drunkenness, etc. And he comes out. Um, Noah said, uh, Baruch Adonai Elohei Shem, blessed is Adonai, the God of Shem. Vihi kenaan eved lamo. May Canaan be his slave. Eved lamo, not their slave, to Shem. It's talking about Shem. And then it goes on, verse 27, Genesis 9, 27. Um, Yafet Elohim le Yafet. That's may, may Elohim enlarge uh, Japheth. Uh, oh. Japheth. It's, it's, there's a word play here, Yafet and Yaft. Um, ve Yishkon Bahale Shem. And he may dwell uh, in the tents of Shem. Vihi Kanaan Eved Lamo. And then he repeats the same thing again. May Canaan be his servant. His slave, Lamo here. Uh, to me, I, I don't understand how you could read it any other way. Here's a, if we want to go to Isaiah. Here's an example from Isaiah. Um, Isaiah 40. Let's see where is it. <clears throat> Isaiah 44:15. It's talking about the man who who cuts down a tree, right? Um, he kindles a fire. And bakes bread. Then it says at the end, it says, "Af yifal el." He even um, uh, yifal. He makes an el. He makes a, he, he makes a god. Yeah. He makes a god, <clears throat> and he bows down. Asahu, he makes it feso, which is an, another word for idol. Vayis god lamo. And bows down to worship it, worships Lamo, it, talking about the Pesel and the El that he just formed. Um, so it's totally disingenuous. And then there's there's a, a handful in Job, if you want to just dive into this, where it's it, <laughs> there's no other way to read it from the context uh, other than uh, meaning to him or for him or to it. So... Again, what he's doing, this is an example of a teacher who knows more than his audience in a way and then presents very selectively. Uh, he's skewing, the, this is what we call unjust weights and measures.